compute the directional derivative for the following function at the given point p in the direction of the given vector. So let's start here by recalling that our directional derivative, defined as capital D, in the direction of a vector u of some function at a point p, defined as ab, is equal to the dot product of the gradient at this point ab dotted with u, or vector u, excuse me, such that we recall that the gradient is defined as the vector whose components are the partial derivatives at this point, and that vector u must be a unit vector. So the magnitude of vector u must be equal to 1. So we're given the function f of x, y is equal to the square root of 16 minus x squared minus 4y. And the first thing that we want to do is find the gradient. So we need our partial derivatives. And so let's actually, we'll start here by rewriting our function. We know that f of x, y is equal to I'm going to rewrite the square root in its exponential form, so I have 16 minus x squared minus 4y raised to the 1 half. So the partial derivative here with respect to x is going to be equal to 1 half multiplied by 16 minus x squared minus 4y raised to the negative 1 half, and then multiplied by the derivative of the inside with respect to x. So minus 2x. So we can see that these 2s will cancel each other out, leaving us with minus x all divided by the square root of 16 minus x squared minus 4y. And then we have the partial derivative with respect to y. So very similarly, we have 1 half multiplied by 16 minus x squared minus 4y, all raised to the negative 1 half, multiplied by the derivative of the inside with respect to y, which leaves us with negative 4. And again, we can simplify a little here. We know that 2 will go into 4 two times, leaving us with minus 2, all divided by the square root of 16 minus x squared minus 4y. So now that we have our partial derivatives here, we want to go ahead and evaluate them at the given point. So we are letting x, y, or a, b here be the ordered pair for negative 4. So the partial derivative with respect to x at the point 4, negative 4, is equal to minus 4, all divided by the square root of 16 minus 16 minus 4, multiplied by negative 4. So the numerator stays as it is. We still have this minus 4, and the 16's in the denominator will cancel each other out, leaving us with the square root of positive 16. So I have negative 4 divided by 4, which is minus 1. And doing the same thing for the partial derivative with respect to y. We have f sub y of 4, negative 4. So this will be minus 2 divided by, so notice we'll have the same denominator here as the partial derivative with respect to x. So we can simplify that right down to 4, which leaves us with negative 1 half. So therefore, the gradient of this function at the point 4, negative 4, is the vector minus 1, minus 1 half. So now that we have the gradient, we want to go ahead and check our vector. So 
again, we want to keep in mind here that we want to make sure that the magnitude of this vector is 1. So we have the magnitude of vector u will be equal to the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 13 squared plus 2 by the square root of, oop, not 2, should be 3 divided by the square root of 13 squared. And this simplifies to the square root of 4 thirteenths plus 9 thirteenths which becomes the square root of 13 divided by 13, which is 1. Hooray! So we see that the magnitude of our vector u is 1, and we are ready to go. So we can now go ahead and find the directional derivative. capital D of vector u of our function f at the point 4, negative 4 is the gradient of the function at this point 4, minus 4, dotted with vector u. So plugging this in, we have the vector minus 1, minus 1 half, and we're dotting this with that given vector u. 2 by the square root of 13, 3 by the square root of 13. So applying the dot product, we'll have negative 1 times 2 by the square root of 13 plus negative 1 half multiplied by 3 by the square root of 13. minus 2 all over the square root of 13 minus 3 all over 2 times the square root of 13. So we want to get ourselves that common denominator here. So we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of that first term by 2, which leaves us with minus 4 minus 3 all over, these, all over 2 times the square root of 13 which leaves us with our beautiful final answer of negative 7 by 2 times the square root of 13. So this is our directional derivative, or the slope of the surface f at the point 4, negative 4, in the direction of vector u.